you've probably heard of concave and convex lenses, but what's really the difference between them and why does that matter so much for glasses and contacts? In this video, I'll break down the two types of lenses, how they change how your eyes focus light, and how to really understand your glasses prescription. So concave and convex describe the shape of the lens. A convex lens bulges outwards. You know, the center is thicker than the edges of it, while a concave lens is the opposite. The center is thinner than the edges of the lens. But why does the shape of the lens matter anyway? It's all because of light refraction. Refraction is how when light goes from one material to another, like air to glass, air to your eyes, or even glass to water, it bends if it's going between those two materials at an angle. And so a lens has a curve to it, and so that curve causes different rays of light to bend based on the angle between them and the new surface. So for both convex and concave lenses, light from the very center of light coming in from far away goes straight through the lens and nothing changes at all. But for a convex lens, light comes in from far away and hits this bulging out convex surface that light is brought to a focus. You can see both the light at the bottom being bent towards a point and then light from the top of the lens being bent downwards towards that same point. So we would say that light is converging. A convex lens behaves in the opposite way. Light from the center still isn't changed, but now light coming in from far away hits this concave surface. Think of like a cave, how you know it's a hole in something. The concave surface is like a hole going into the lens. So light hits that and refracts in the opposite way, spreading out as it hits the lens. So light comes into a concave lens and diverges, it spreads out. So here is a convex lens. It has a curve to it, so you can see right now that the left side of this lens bulges outwards. This is a concave lens. This might be a little trickier for you to see, but the left side of this lens caves into the lens. If I hold a convex lens up to my camera here, you can see that things through it look bigger than they actually are. It magnifies objects. But if I bring the concave lens up to my camera, things look smaller through this lens than they actually are in real life. It minimizes things instead of magnifies them. But what does any of that actually have to do with how your eyes work or how glasses work? This is how your eye is supposed to work. It takes in light from far away and focuses that down to a spot on your retina, on the back of your eye. So your eye behaves like a convex lens. And you can even see some elements in it are convex, like the lens inside of your eye bulges outwards. The middle is fatter than the edges. So that's how your eye is supposed to work, focusing light from far away into a point on your retina. But things don't always go smoothly. So you could have nearsightedness or myopia. That's when your eye is too strong, it focuses the light too much, or maybe your eye is too long. And in either case, light comes in from far away and focuses in the middle of your eye or somewhere inside of it instead of on your retina. So then that light keeps spreading out and it spreads into a blur on your retina on the back of your eye. So if you're nearsighted and your eye is too strong, focusing light inside of your eyes, you need glasses or contacts that move that point of focus back onto your retina. You need concave lenses. So you need a lens that spreads the light out more. So instead of it focusing in here, it prevents it from focusing quite as much, moving that light back onto your retina where it should. That helps you see clearly again. So that's nearsightedness and glasses for it. The opposite of nearsightedness is farsightedness or hyperopia. In that case, light comes in from far away and your eye isn't strong enough, or you could say that your eye is too short. So, the light hasn't come to a point of focus yet by the time it hits your retina. So you don't have a nice spot on your retina. It's again spread out into a blur, making your vision blurry. So if you have farsightedness, we now need to add optical power to the eye, moving up that point of focus onto your retina. So let's add in some convex lenses. So glasses and contacts for farsightedness Add focusing power, moving up that point of focus onto your retina so you can see clearly. So, convex lenses that stick out in the middle, those are good for farsightedness moving up the point of focus while concave lenses help with nearsightedness. So if you have nearsightedness, your eyes will look smaller than they actually are through your glasses. But if you have farsightedness, your eyes will look bigger than they actually are because you have convex lenses that magnify things. 
So that's the basics, but how do you tell one lens apart from another? Like one pair of glasses doesn't work for everybody. We have different eye prescriptions and need different kinds of lenses. So let's go back to convex lenses. The primary way you describe the power of this lens is its focal length, which is the distance it takes for it to take in light from far away and then focus that light to a point. That distance is the focal length. And it's not exactly measured from one edge of the lens. It's measured from a funky surface usually inside of it. Explaining the math behind that is a little bit outside the scope of this. So it's as long as it takes for it to focus that light down. But concave lenses don't focus light down. They spread light out. So how do you describe how sharply it is spreading that light out? What you do is the light comes in from far away and spreads out. You trace back that line. So the light that's spreading out you trace that back until those lines meet in the center of the lens. We call that the optical axis. So the distance from the lens to that point where those imaginary traced back lines meet in the middle, that is the focal length of a concave lens. So for both kinds of lenses, a shorter focal length means that the lens is stronger. It means it's either focusing light to a point stronger or spreading that light out stronger. But if you look at your eye prescription, you don't get the focal length of your lenses there. You get the power of the lenses in diopters. So diopters is one divided by the focal length of the lens in meters. So if your vision really sucks and you need strong lenses, you will have a short focal length, which means a big number in diopters. And if you just need a little bit of correction, your vision's pretty good. You'll have a long focal length and a small number in diopters. So if you look at your eye prescription, the first number will be under spherical or SPH. The bigger the number there, the stronger your glasses. And if there's a positive number there, that means that you have convex lenses. You have a positive focal length and it's focusing light. And if you have a negative number under SPH, that means that you have concave lenses that spread light out. So those are the key differences between convex and concave lenses, but there's a lot of other stuff on your eye prescription besides just that first number. So if you click here, I have another video breaking down the rest of your eye prescription so you understand what all of those different values mean.